Good morning to everyone and welcome to the International Conference on Industry 4.0 and uh, Smart Manufacturing. Well, it is, my name is Francesco Longo, I'm from University of Calabria and I'm very, very glad to serve as uh, General Co-Chair of the edition 2020 of the International Conference on Industry 4.0 and Smart Manufacturing. Well, we are online, we are also facing some uh, technical issue, but now everything seems to be working well. And we are online, you know, due to the pandemics and in some way we were expecting this. Uh, indeed, I feel also that this year, the 2020, will be remembered for a very long time. Uh, I feel that every country is facing difficult times and the COVID-19 pandemic is strongly affecting our way of life, as well as we are suffering for the loss of so many people worldwide. However, uh, let me say, because we are in a, in a research context, that what the research is doing in the last few months and, look, and what uh, we, are, uh, we have done in the last few months is really unbelievable. A number of new researches has been started, not only in our sector, but also in many other sectors and results are already available and used. If we feel, for instance, just to vaccine that have been developed in less than one year and the development and production of vaccines usually take several years, we can understand that our community is reacting uh, very well to these pandemics. University and companies have completely uh, reorganized their activities and we are all applying, I feel, in this moment, the uh, the famous Albert Einstein quote, you remember, in the, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Yes, because I feel that we should react not only to eradicate this pandemic, but we should turn any disadvantages that we are experiencing in advantages that will bring us to a better society, a better education of the next generation and a better life. This year, the ISM conference was scheduled to be in Austria, in Hagenberg, and we were looking forward to meet all of you in person. And obviously, I take this opportunity to thank all our Austrian friends from the Hagenberg campus and software park of Upper Austria University of Applied Science for their huge support and contribution in the organization of this year's conference. But Along the last months, we have learned how so many things can be done online. Obviously, attending physically a conference is something that we miss and we will come back to do it again very soon. But in the meantime, as I mentioned, we take advantages from online participation that give the possibility to more people to easily attend the conference, listen to articles and make online networking activities. And I feel also that keeping our community always more and more connected and produce scientific relevant contents as well as results, doing very good researches is our must to challenge this pandemic. And to this end, I feel that the SM 2020 edition offers very high quality technical contents and articles. As you can also see from the program, and later in this presentation, we will have additional details. We have a number of different and well-known keynote speakers. We do have many scientific sessions with a lot of different and, in, in, and interesting topics, artificial intelligence, digital twin, cyber physical production system, uh, virtual and augmented reality simulation and so on. We do also have special session with research project presentation. Therefore, I also uh, would like to thank the, the ISM International Program Committee and reviewers for the huge work they have done along the last months. But obviously, our special thanks go to all the authors that have contributed to the success of this year conference. It is also important, I feel, to let our community grow. Therefore, please consider to take an active role in the organization of the next year edition of the ISM conference. Uh, you are invited to join the, the International Program Committee to set up new special session and tracks uh, or to act as reviewer. Uh, you know also that this year the article of ASM will be pu published as part of the Procedia Computer Science. We will say something more later in this presentation. The article will be open access and indexed by Scopus, therefore they will have a very good visibility uh, in terms of 
uh, publication on uh, search engine like Scopus, as I was mentioning. Uh, we have also set up a number of international, international journal special issue, and we will award also the best paper during the uh, conference, uh, and please check the program from this point of view. Now, I don't want to, you know, to uh, lose additional time, uh, and we will go through now to the welcome messages from all the organizers that has supported the organization of ISM 2020. And I will start with a video message from Maria Ulmer, that is the director of General Division One for Digitalization and e-government from the Federal Ministry of Digital Economy Affairs in Austria. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, on behalf of the Federal Ministry for Digital and Economic Affairs, I'm pleased to welcome you to the first day of the ISM 2020. We are currently experiencing very challenging times, both professionally and privately. The situation is tense. People are worried about losing their jobs, about loss of information, about their health, and they are worried about missing opportunities. A few months ago, there were reservations regarding digitalization and its consequences. Now the tide has turned suddenly. Digitalization is considered an important means that enables people to continue working and to better overcome the crisis. It even makes my job easier. If there is something positive to be said about the current crisis, it definitely is the resulting digitalization boost and the differentiated assessment of the use of artificial intelligence. I'm very happy that you were able to host this event under the current difficult circumstances and chose to hold a virtual conference. The setting is very promising. The conference allows for the exchange of knowledge as well as the discussion of research results and experiences from industrial practice. The mutual exchange on the topics of Industry 4.0 and smart manufacturing between scientists, researchers, decision makers, practitioners, and students presents a holistic approach. And therefore I'm convinced this event will be a complete success. I would like to take this opportunity here and draw your attention to digitalization in the public administration. If we as an administration regard our services as products, we need to rethink the digital and organizational transformation of traditional administrative activities. Therefore, it is necessary to make them available, not only as digital, but more importantly, as mobile services. The digital transformation can be seen as a cultural change and a change management process. For us, not only technical aspects, but also the people at the forefront of this change. One of our priorities is to establish ideal framework conditions in Austria in order to secure the economic location as well as jobs in challenging times like this. The federal government has set itself the goal of using digitalization as a means to further reduce bureaucracy in the administration. The mobile application Digitales Amt as well as Österreich TV.at are a platform that enables citizens to use administrative services digitally. The so-called one-stop business service portal can be considered as the economic counterpart and our second flagship. Several elements are available on these platforms or are currently being implemented, such as the mobile phone signature, the electronic proof of identity, the electronic postal delivery, or the digital signing and uploading of documents, to name a few. The administration's efforts to promote the digital transformation in Austria is particularly apparent when looking at the European Commission's e-government benchmark 2020. Austria, on a par with Latvia, currently ranks in third place and together with Malta, 
which has the first place in Estonia, belongs to the top three nations in Europe. We have also committed ourselves to the topic of artificial intelligence and therefore have developed a consolidated paper, the so-called Artificial Intelligence Mission Austria 2030. Austrian politics aims to invest in a number of future fields, such as research and innovation, qualification and training, artificial intelligence in the public sector, infrastructure for industrial leadership, society, ethics, and labor market, and i.e. governance, security, and law. Currently, a pilot project is running on the one-stop business service portal, which aims to support companies in finding funding by means of artificial intelligence. In this context, I would also like to mention the example of the electronic administrative assistant, Mona, that is used on Österreich TV.at, as well as on the one-stop business service portal. Moreover, it is necessary to emphasize that we see standards, particularly in the field of artificial intelligence, as an important tool to support domestic companies as well as to embed our interest in international standards. To state an example, this is of particular importance in the conception of subsidies. We are currently in contact with funding agencies as we wish to support standardization activities in companies in order to strengthen the economic location as a whole. This is also the reason why the Federal Ministry for Digital and Economic Affairs is actively involved in several standardization committees. I'm very pleased that we were able to bring the plenary meeting 2030 of ISO subcommittee 42, which is an artificial intelligence subcommittee to Vienna. There is huge potential of artificial intelligence according to a Price Waterhouse study in Germany, the contribution of artificial intelligence to the German GDP could amount to approximately 11.3% in 2030. This means an added value of 430 billion euros. Personally, I consider the joint work of the administration on federal, state, city, and local level with the economy and industry but also with the fields research and development as one of the crucial success factors. Your event makes an important contribution to this cooperation and provides valuable opportunities for networking, interaction, and knowledge transfer. I would like to conclude with a quote from the founder of Google, Sergey Brin. The new spring in artificial intelligence is the most significant development on computing in my lifetime. Every month, there are stunning new applications and transformative new techniques. Such powerful tools also bring with them new questions and responsibility. I wish you an exciting and an informative event over the next few days. Use this conference for exchange and networking purposes. I would also like to take this opportunity and already congratulate the winners of the ISM Award 2020, which are presented on November 25th. Thank you very much for your attention. Francesco, you are muted. Uh, so we go now for the uh, next welcome message from Marcus Eichletner, uh, Regional Consular from the Provincial, Provincial Economic Council of Upper Austria. Dear ladies and gentlemen, as Ministry of Economic, Science and Research, it's a pleasure for me to welcome you virtually to the grand opening of this year's International Conference on Industry 4.0 and Smart Manufacturing, the ISM 2020. 
Upper Austria is the optimal region for the topics that are going to be discussed within the next three days. We are not only the economic powerhouse of Austria, we are very proud to still have a substantial industrial and goods producing business share in our economy. Our software park Hagenberg has established itself as a best practice example for the creation of new knowledge and uh, for the real world applications uh, in the new business models. This is a blueprint for a successful Upper Austria, Austria and Europe as a whole to bring higher education, science, research together, close together with the industry. Having the opportunity, I would like to especially thank our head of the Software Park uh, Hagenberg, Michael Affenzeller, for bringing this important conference to Upper Austria. Thanks to the excellent cooperation uh, between Michael Affenzeller and Professor Francesco Longo, we will be able to personally welcome you in 2021 when the conference will physically be held here in Upper Austria. I wish you a successful conference, stay healthy and see you next year. And it is my pleasure now to welcome for his uh, greeting message, uh, Professor Sandra Savaglio. Uh, she is the chair of FIGER Education Research and Innovation Committee uh, in our region in Calabria, Italy. And the microphone, please. We cannot hear you, Sandra, maybe because of the microphone. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, it's because of these devices. <laughs> Sometimes, the, yeah. Anyway, good morning. Um, so welcome for this conference and thank you, Francesco, for inviting me to speak uh, this conference. Um, it sounds to be a very interesting uh, meeting and I'm um, I'd, I'd love to hear all your conversations, but I have one doubt. I might be, I might not be able to understand much because I can see there is a variety of uh, topics, and you're touching with this industrialization and uh, manufacturing four point, uh, manufacturing industrialization four manufacturing. You are covering the whole uh, set of um, uh, interests and I imagine everybody speaking different languages so I'll, I will try to follow some and understand uh, what you're talking about. Anyway, this is obviously the future and it's more obvious because of the pandemic COVID-19 uh, because this is the digitalization is the key to get out of this crisis uh, where nobody can travel and the, the human contacts are really limited. Um, in any case, the, uh, even if this is the future and this is great opportunities for societies and, and economics to grow, we don't have to forget the human side of what uh, all activities because after all, what we are pointing towards to is to have a high quality of life. Um, and this is um, something fundamental for living a better life, not just longer, but also have a high quality of life. Um, now, the, um, uh, I, I believe there are some countries that are much more advanced than others in that uh, regard. I come from a region, which is Calabria, where um, digitalization is a big problem. And I come from a country where um, public, uh, the public system is, uh, um, is basically uh, maneuvered by bureaucracy uh, and by regulations and by uh, incredible uh, complicated laws. 
uh, while the private sector is much more, it's running a much fa faster pace. So I think it would be important for the um, public administration to, under, to say, look, we are far behind. There is a better way to handle all the public service and the public service is important to support industry and manufacturing. We have to try to, in a way, to uh, um, modernize our system. And, and if, we, if we are not able to do this, we have to ask as experts to help us. So this would be, I mean, this with the COVID, this is an opportunity because there are so many things that need to be uh, decided fast and act fast because of the pandemic, uh, that this would be uh, an excellent opportunity uh, to get rid of this old, very old system that is paralyzing uh, our society. Uh, so I uh, hope this meeting will be um, an opportunity for politicians. Now, I'm a scientist, but now I'm covering you know, um, I have other um, duties now as political um, representative of the regional government. Um, so this is an opportunity to, to to learn and to grow. And I can ensure you with the Italian system, and because our system is so complicated, anything we want to do takes months. And by the time we can implement that thing that we're trying to change, it will be already obsolete. So it's a huge problem. Um, anyway, um, I wish you, you will all have a good time. And this, uh, let's say, money, uh, multi disciplinary uh, conference will be an opportunity to for all of you to learn and to establish connections and collaborations and and uh, next year will be a better way of meeting I mean because after all personal meetings always better than connecting uh, with the machine all right so um, thank you again bye I will be connected I will be listening to you so Thanks, thanks a lot, Sandra, for your very nice and interesting welcome message. And now it is my pleasure to leave, to introduce and leave the floor to Gerald Reisinger. He is the university president and CEO of University of Applied Science and Upper Austria and even a very good old friend. Thanks so much. I hope everyone can hear me. Best greetings, private wishes to Francesco. Uh, you made a great job and I'm glad to have you as a friend. To all participants, a very warm welcome uh, from up Austria. As you can see in the background, I'm uh, at the home office. This is not because the numbers are that critical, because I wanted to get up that early to go into work. Anyway, uh, the numbers of the FH up Austria are very remarkable compared to the uh, facts and to the figures of the region itself, but it would have been too critical to do this conference in present. So unfortunately, uh, we couldn't meet in Heidelberg at this point, but I hope we are going uh, to meet us uh, in 2021. I have to thank at this point uh, the program committee for all the work they have done special Michael from the Austrian side and Francesco from the Italian side, from the Calabrian side to organize uh, this conference due to the COVID circumstances right at the moment. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of, of international conferences. I'm a fan of intercultural and, and international uh, dialogue and cooperation. And I would like to stretch out uh, the cooperation between the University of Calabria and the FH of Austria as a best practice example for international cooperation. I was two weeks ago, I was in a conference in an Arabic country and they discussed about uh, boostering international cooperation between universities and I put this 
cooperation we have as a best practice example on the agenda of the conference. I don't know if, if everyone knows in this in from the participants how intensive our cooperation is. Of course, we have all the things like students exchange, of course, but we have a double degree program running very successful. We have PhD, we work together in the field of PhD. We have common PhD uh, students. We are running stuff uh, exchange and we had 2017 a very big international conference in Vienna in the Hofburg where Francesco uh, did the key there. Thanks for that. I hope uh, it was quite an experience for you to, the, to talk in the area where the old emperor used to live in former years. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is this is how it works. Uh, conferences like that are are made to bring scientists with uh, similar interests together to get in an in, uh, exchange of interests to get into discussion, and that's why it's so great that you did it and didn't postpone it just to next year. Thanks once more for that. Well, I wish you excellent talks, uh, much success for the conference, and I hope to see you all uh, healthy, wealthy, and wise next year in 2021. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot uh, for your message. Uh, let's move ahead. Uh, it is uh, now, again, a pleasure to introduce uh, Bertold Kirschbaumer. Uh, he is the Dean of Faculty of Informatics, Communication and Media of University of Applied Science, Upper Austria. Uh, good to see you again, Francesco. Good, good morning you. from Hagenberg, Austria. Dear ladies and gentlemen, esteemed research community, it can already be said in advance, despite the short delay at the beginning, that this conference has been a great success in terms of quality of both participants and their scientific contributions. More than 100 contributions from 17 different nations were accepted. The scientific level of the papers is high. All contributions are published in Elsevier Procedure Computer Science. This allows a good distribution and perception of the high quality contents. Without having clear evidence, I am nevertheless of the opinion that this event is one of the most outstanding scientific conferences in the field of digitalization ever held in Upper Austria. Together with the University of Calabria, with whom we have a close knit and long standing collaboration and a double degree program, we have been successful to host such an outstanding event. On this occasion, I would like to express my gratitude, amongst others, to Michael Affenzeller and Francesco Longo. At the same time, it is also a cornerstone of third mission, as this conference brings science and industry closer together. Given that there are participants from industrial companies, as well as already very well booked B2B meetings. We are especially proud of the cross-organizational and nationwide network activities of the Austrian research community, which has resulted in 33 high quality contributions. Among others, this was a convincing argument to hold the ISM conference 2021 once again in Hagenberg. Hence, if we succeed in defeating the COVID-19 pandemic, the Faculty of Informatics, Communications and Media in Hagenberg is delighted to be the host of this outstanding event. We therefore look forward to being once more the heart of this research community and meeting all of you face to face at the premises of our university in Hagenberg next year. On this note, I would like to wish you now a successful conference, fruitful knowledge transfer and vivid exchange of ideas. Greetings from Hagenberg. Francesco, back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bertold, for your uh, message. And now let's go uh, forward 
And obviously in this case, it is really a huge pleasure because we are very uh, good friends. We know each other from so many years. We were attending and organizing so many international conferences together. Uh, so it is my pleasure to introduce Professor Michael Affenzeller. He is the ISM 2020 General Co-Chair and also the Scientific Head of Software Park in Agenberg and also full professor at the University of Applied Science Upper Austria. Michael, the floor is yours. Okay, thanks Francesco very much for your kind introduction. So I would like to take this opportunity to tell you something about how this conference came to Upper Austria and to say thank you to some people without whom it wouldn't have been working out this way. So when I took over responsibility for the scientific lead of the Software Park Hagenberg in the middle of last year, one of my first goals was to bring an international scientific event to Hagenberg, which reflects the basic values of the Software Park, namely the synergetic and mutual interplay of research, education and economy. The first to do something like this who came into my mind were our long-term, long-time Italian friends around the International Multidisciplinary Modeling and Simulation Multi-Conference, whose successful development into one of the most relevant modeling and simulation events in Europe, I was able to witness over the last 15 years. Behind it, there is consistent and professional community building in an atmosphere of friendship in which many people are involved. Above all, Professor Agostino Puzzone and Professor Francesco Longo. And I'm happy and grateful that both are here with us today. Together with these persons in September 2019, around the I3M in Lisbon, the plan was born to organize an international conference on digitization topics in the production environment in Upper Austria in 2020, as the second happening of the ISM conference. The very first edition on ISM was just around the corner with November 2019 in Italy. With the plan to organize ISM 2020 in Hagenberg, I returned from Lisbon to Hagenberg again at the end of September and I was overwhelmed by the short-term support which I received. Spontaneously, our president Dr. Rising and our dean Professor Kerschbauer agreed to fully support the local organization. Also with the full support of the event management group of our University. Many thanks to Dr. Reising and Professor Kerschbaumer, as well as to the ex executing persons around Barbara Eichhuber, especially Eva Lechner, who supported us in all phases of preparation. But also the how we call it Hagenberg spirit, which stands for professional, passionate and uncomplicated cooperation, became apparent at this point. Key persons from leading software park institutions like SCCH, and risk software spontaneously decided with less than two months of preparation time to join me to ISM 2090 in Cosenza and Rende, where the first edition of ISM was held in order to uh, consider which workshops, exhibitions or sessions we could do in Austria next year. I would like to take the opportunity to thank Wolfgang Freises and Florian Sobielski and Joe Bichler for the willingness to join me during this conference visit around a year ago. From this point on, the preparation of ISM 2020 was underway and the intense support of many people is responsible for the fact that we stand here today where we stand. First of all, regarding the academic preparation, the group from University of Calabria around Antonio Padovano and Francesco Longo are responsible for uh, the homepage, the communication with the publishers and journal, the reviewing process. All this has been done highly professionally with perfect communication with the Austrian sites. Thanks for all this, Antonio and Francesco. By the way, both of you know Hagenberg very well because they have been here already several times. In terms of local supporters from our University of Applied Sciences, I want to highlight the contribution of Kai Feng Chang for his support in conference organization as well as Martina Anzinger for the great support concerning marketing activities. Also the Software Park Hagenberg management team 
uh, did a great job with support from Business Upper Austria to organize the B2B events and to support the marketing activities around this event in social media and print. Thanks for this uh, to Sonja Mündel, Mündel, Bettina Bindreiter and Magdalena Schöps. Uh, in terms of content, I would like, of course, to thank all contributors from overall, overall 17 different countries around the globe. However, I would also like to highlight the strong participation of the Austrian community. Around 30 of the overall more than 100 acceptance conference contributions come from Austrian research group. I would like this to, uh, to take this opportunity to thank many groups for their committed and profession, uh, professional participation in organizing workshops and providing scientific contributions. Strong participation was not only from the Hagenberg players, like the research and development department of our university, the Software Competence Center, RISC Software, but also from other players like Linz Competence Center of Mechatronics, Johannes Kepler University of Linz and other Austrian universities like the University of Vienna, Technical University of Vienna, BOKU, as well as the support of leading companies like Vistalpine or MIBA. It was this great contribution of the whole Austrian ecosystem that made it relatively easy for me to convince our Italian friends to plan next year's ISM event with us again and hold it in Hagenberg from November 17th to November 19th, 2021, hopefully in physical form this time. I'm looking forward to this as well as I'm looking forward to the exciting next three days in this year's virtual form. Welcome to ISM 2020 also from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you for your nice words. It is always a pleasure working with uh, with all of you as well as with the organization committee of ISM uh, 2020. Well, now uh, we have a welcome message from Professor Agostino Bruzzone. I'm, uh, also, in this case, I'm really excited to introduce Prof Professor Agostino Bruzzone, even because Professor Agostino Bruzzone was my mentor uh, some years ago, and he was also the one introducing me to the organization of international conference. He was also pushing me to organize international conference because of the importance of networking, of scientific contribution for the community, and so on. Professor Agostino Bruzzone is the ISM honorary chair. He is also the uh, simulation team president and Lyofant president and full professor at the University of Genova and he is going to provide these greetings uh, vi with a video message providing also greetings from these two large no-profit society, simulation team and Lyofant simulation that are strongly involved in the area of modeling and simulation as well as, well as industry 4.0 and smart manufacturing. for the big effort carried out for this event. Unfortunately, we are not able to meet all together, but I would like to share with you just a couple of transparency that I hope can point out some important synergy that we have in uh, this initiative. As I mentioned, uh, I am currently serving as uh, just honorary in this committee, and I'm very sad uh, about the fact that we don't have the opportunity to meet together in the beautiful Austria, Osterreich. However, I would like to mention you a couple of organizations that are supporting this event and other events. I'm in fact um, general director of MNSNet, but also president of Lyofan. Lyofan is an association that exists since uh, 1996 and uh, is entitled it is elephant uh, mix with the lion is a lion in fact is a mythological being that only simulation can bring back to life life and deal mostly with modern simulation uh, you can find much more information on the web under life and however what is very interesting is life and is promoting major events such as i try plan even strongly cooperating with this organizing committee we are active in 
CE, Simulation Exploratory Experience, that deal with logistics of a moon-based space station coordinated by NASA. So if you are interested, please contact me. I will be very delighted to provide you information about uh, how to participate. This is open to students in internship universities and provide uh, free software for that one. Another important aspect of LIO Fund is to promote exchange where young engineers, uh, new graduate or um, these students can have opportunity to work on real project, short intensive project all around the world. As you can see in the transparency, we have a change along all the country, North America, Europe, China, Brazil, and uh, even Asia. So this is the life and don't provide economic support, but put in touch people that need young engineers with experience in modeling and simulation as well as uh, um, users that have a need to use and to adopt these techniques to face problems. So another major organization we like to mention is simulation team. Simulation team is uh, organizing ITRI plan and WAMS events. It's pretty active around the world as a network that involve over 20 universities, top company, spin-off of university in still in the sector of modeling. I would like just to mention quickly Strategos, that is a new initiative that we patron. Strategos is dealing with strategic engineering, that is new discipline, pretty new, and the strategic engineering deals with modeling, simulation, data analytics, artificial intelligence in closed loop to support strategic decision. Obviously, manufacturing this is very important. They have a big potential. We want to move uh, the industry forward, the capability to take strategy, to put them in place because strategy is not to make plans, but is to act effectively. A strategic engineer, thanks to new technology, this digitalization of company, Industry 4.0, have capability to access many data elaborate process, transforming information, support decision, using model to look forward or consequence of decision and use them in closed loop. In fact, the basic idea is that collecting such big data that unfortunately are often a mess because there are plenty of inconsistency, gap errors, you can elaborate by artificial intelligence and then you can extract information to understand what is happening. But when you know that, you can use inside model to predict what will happen based on your alternative option on your decision and to measure on the field if your decision are properly evaluated. If it works, it's fine. If there are errors, you can put in place a machine learning system to self-tune the, the algorithm. So it's a quite innovative concept about new technology that in any case existed since several years. In fact, it put in place something that we can extract from the word of Socrates 2,500 years ago around that was saying that the strategos that at the time was an admiral general directing an army was uh, somebody with the capability to understand better than other what is going, what happened, and especially to predict what will happen. And, and this is a very interesting initiative. We have strong partnership with organization, with NATO, with uh, Sovereign Order of Malta for humanitarian aspect, with major companies such as Thales, Leonardo, Accenture, Itachi. Um, so we operate with the uh, agency, we operate with major company, we operate with other university. We have already several agreement with other university will be very glad to keep in touch with you to develop a stream related to industry and manufacturing that where we have already major industrial realities such as Leonardo, Rina, Thales, Tenova, MBDA and so on. So thank you very much again and uh, congratulations for the organization of this wonderful event. Even if it's virtual, it's a way to continue and we count on being able to solve the problem even for the future and to see live again as soon as possible. Thank you and goodbye.
So we thank you, Professor Agostino Bruzzone, for uh, this very interesting welcome message. I'd like also to stress the importance of the initiative that Professor Bruzzone was mentioning, including the IEEE multi-conference, where Professor Bruzzone is serving as general chair, as well as the uh, Strategos initiatives and all the other activities carried out by Simulation Team and Lyofan Simulation, as they are a very large community of people working in our in our sector. And now uh, I would like to introduce the program chair of ISM 2020. Dr. Antonio Padovano that is going to provide some additional details about the this year program. Antonio, the floor is yours. So ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the International Program Committee, I warmly welcome you to the International Conference on Industry 4.0 Smart Manufacturing, the ISM 2020 that I'm privileged to serve as program chair. So uh, let me uh, just share some information with you about uh, this year event. So here we are. Uh, even in this unusual virtual venue, the ISM 2020 uh, brings together academics, industry experts, education leaders from all over the world to discuss an incredibly wide array of topics in the field of the fourth industrial revolution, ranging from uh, digital twin to cyber physical systems, from simulation to virtual and augmented reality, from cybersecurity and privacy to 4.0 production planning and controls, among uh, many others. And even if uh, even in this difficult scenario that is challenging all of us, the ISM showed a remarkably uh, strong performance, not only for a young conference. This year, well, uh, um, 115 high quality contributions from authors from more than 20 countries have been accepted after a professional and well funded review process. Uh, besides my welcome to the paper authors, I would like to welcome all the other conference participants. Uh, more than uh, uh, 350 participants registered over the three days uh, for more than uh, 150 universities and organizations and 30 countries. Uh, and this confirms the ISM nature as a truly international forum, providing a, a full overview of the cutting edge research in the industry 4.0 and smart manufacturing domain. Now, the ISM 2020 conference proceedings have to be regarded as the final result of a joint effort uh, carried out in collaboration with the authors, of course, but also reviewers, track chairs, that we wish to thank for their contribution and uh, for their hard work to improve the quality and the relevance of the papers. Uh, in the wake of uh, last year's edition, uh, whose proceedings have been published uh, with Elsevier Procedia Manufacturing, this year, the ISM 2020 proceedings will be published, uh, as Professor Francesco Longo said, by Elsevier as a, a dedicated issue of the Procedia Computer Science. Procedia Computer Science is one of the most popular Elsevier publications focusing entirely on publishing high quality conference proceedings. We are very glad to have established this collaboration as uh, it enables uh, fast dissemination so that uh, conference authors can publish their papers in a dedicated online issue which is available on Science Direct. Uh, Procedia Computer Science is also open access, so uh, papers will be made freely available worldwide, and we know today the importance of publishing open access. And also uh, publications will be indexed in Scopus, thus providing maximum exposure for your work. And for authors publishing in Procedia Computer Science, accepted manuscript will be governed by the uh, Creative Commons uh, license. Now, uh, besides uh, the conference uh, proceedings, uh, ISM 2020 offers other publication opportunities to the authors. In particular, uh, present papers will be uh, screened uh, one more time right after the conference uh, with the purpose of recommending the authors to uh, extend their paper in one of the ISM 2020 International Journal Special Issues. 
Uh, this slide reports the information of the special issues. Uh, we have a special issue on the Journal of Industrial Information Integration, on in the International Journal of Simulation and Process Modeling, as well as on the Journal of Industrial Engineering and Management. All of those are very uh, high quality outlets for uh, scientific papers and therefore uh, we, we are very glad to, um, to uh, collaborate with uh, the editorial teams of these journals for uh, hosting uh, extended versions of um, the ISM papers. Now, uh, this is a high level overview of the conference program. Uh, right after this opening ceremony at 11 Central European time and tomorrow morning also at 9 a.m. always Central European time, uh, uh, so the first session in the day tomorrow, we will have the keynote speeches of uh, prominent academics and industry experts in the field of Industry 4.0. Uh, Professor Longo will tell you more about this uh, later. Parallel sessions uh, on specific topics were scheduled in four different virtual rooms over the three uh, uh, conference days. And uh, at the end, the closing ceremony with the base paper awards uh, will be held on Wednesday at 16 uh, in the afternoon uh, Central European time. Uh, for the program at a glance, uh, full agenda with speakers details and the abstract booklet, uh, you can visit the website or use the links uh, here below. And also I remind you that this presentation will be uh, available in uh, the ISM 2020 Microsoft team in case you want to download and use this link uh, after uh, this uh, opening ceremony. Now, besides uh, the regular sessions, I would like to invite you to join also the six special sessions that have been organized. Uh, the first one is later today on uh, smart operators 4.0 based on simulation at industry and uh, on, for industry and manufacturing systems. Tomorrow, three special sessions will be held on uh, the topics of security, privacy and protection uh, in Industry 4.0, uh, applications and Industry 4.0 key enabling technologies, and also on dynamic logistics optimization in the context of prescriptive analytics. On the last day, the special sessions will be on digital image information extraction for material quality control and integrated logistics planning for efficient smart manufacturing. So again, uh, you are cordially invited to join these panel discussions and presentations. To conclude, uh, I would like also to give you a few more details on the closing ceremony that is scheduled on November 25th at 16 Central European time in the plenary room, uh, or in the virtual plenary room, of course. Uh, also this year, the ISM comes with three different awards. The best paper award is assigned to the paper based on uh, originality, scientific quality and impact on the manufacturing domain. The Industrial Impact Award is assigned to the paper presented at ISM that has the greatest impact on industrial practice and provides relevant advances to manufacturing systems. And also we have the ICIP IBM Best Service Innovation Paper Award that will be assigned by ISAP. ISAP is the International Society of Service Innovation Professionals that in collaboration with IBM will award the best paper dealing with promoting, promoting service innovation for our interconnected world and in particular in uh, uh, the industrial domain. Winners will be acknowledged on the ISM website. Uh, the, best paper, the best service innovation paper award winners will be also acknowledged on the ISAP website. And also, I will invite you to, to join the closing ceremony because we will toast uh, all together the winners and we will toast also to all of us. So remember to bring something to drink and celebrate all together at the closing ceremony. So I think uh, that's all. I hope you will have a fruitful time at this conference and thank you for your attention. Uh, the, the microphone is muted. Thanks, Antonio.
for providing uh, all this interesting information about the ISM program. Uh, now I'm really uh, very glad to provide uh, a message greeting from Professor Emilio Ferrari. Uh, he is the president of the Italian Association of Industrial System Engineering Professor. Unfortunately, Professor Ferrari is experiencing some problems to uh, connect online, uh, but he asked me to provide this welcome message. Uh, the Italian Association of Industrial System Engineering Professor put together all the professors working in the area of industrial system engineering in Italy. We are more than 150 professors and researchers, and I feel more than, more than 500 between uh, uh, postdoc as well as research fellowship, PhD students, and so on. Uh, we as Association of Industrial and System Engineering Professor, we do have a number of different activities, including uh, PhD courses as well as a summer school that is open at international level. The summer school is called the Francesco Turco Summer School and is held every year in uh, September in very nice uh, Italian uh, Italian location. So uh, if you go easily online, uh, you can find information about ID, the Italian Association of Industrial System Engineering Professor, as well as about all the activities of the uh, of this of this association that uh, as you can imagine, he, he, the association and all the professors are strongly worked in the area of Industry 4.0 smart manufacturing. So uh, again, uh, greetings and uh, welcome from Professor Emilio Ferrari. And now, uh, uh, last, uh, obviously, but not uh, least, uh, I'm really glad to introduce you Professor Luigino Filice. Professor Luigino Filice is full professor at the University of Calabria, so we are in the same university with Professor Filice. Uh, he is also vice president of the Italian Association of Manufacturing, I ca called ITEM, and he is going to provide the welcome message. Please, Luigino. Thank you so much, Francesco. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. If uh, I just would like to present some slides about uh, uh, Ida. Yeah, you can share your screen. Can you see? Can you see the screen or not? In a few seconds. Not yet. Come not on, yet. Please. Now. Yeah. OK. So thank you very much to all the colleagues in uh, in this uh, virtual room. Uh, as Francesco says, I am the vice president of the Italian Manufacturing Association, but I will call it ITEM according to Italian language. What we do, we are um, an Italian association of uh, mainly uh, researchers uh, all over the country. As you can see, uh, the, the red uh, circles are the, the place in which we are present with the universities or industries. We are about 300 members uh, divided in uh, academic members, but also uh, industrial members. And uh, uh, we are all together. Usually we have a significant participation in uh, national and international uh, uh, research projects. These are the topics on which we are focused since we are a, a manufacturing association, as you can see. But uh, uh, manufacturing processes are the historical part of our research, but today we are also doing a lot of good research uh, together with other groups in uh, methodologies, uh, uh, mechanical and technological transformation, but also programming and why not uh, sustainable development and uh, circular economy applications. Uh, we have about uh, three different uh, branch on which we work. The first is on, on training of our uh, associate members. Of course, research is one of the topic of our business, but we have also a very strong attention to the young people. Uh, concerning research, uh, I just uh, uh, highlight two different uh, um, uh, activities we have. The first is that our association is divided in sections sections because uh, we have uh, some topics related to industry application and this is the reason why uh, energy section is uh, strongly strongly related with uh, some application of industrial topic 
And uh, what are we doing in this time is the, the, um, uh, the development of a platform of open innovation, giving the possibility to all the manufacturers uh, all around the world to participate to some challenges offered by the industries. But let me spend some few uh, words about uh, the young people because our attention, as I told before, is very focused on the on this particular and strong category that is very very important for us. The first is the organization yearly of a, an activity that we call Manuton. Manuton is a, um, a word composed by manufacturing and hackathon, in which for 300 uh, 30, 33 hours of non-stop teamwork, some people, some young people, stay together to solve particular. Um, particular uh, challenges offered by the, the industries. We have also some prizes offers in particular, offered in particular to the, um, the young people, uh, students, uh, but also young researchers. And we also pay some grants for young scientists to participate to, to CRP General Assembly, which is a sort of uh, uh, threshold in our, in our reputation in terms of conferences all around the world. And finally, we organize a conference every year for uh, not only for the associate, but also to engage new people which are uh, involved in manufacturing technologies. So I would like to stop this, this uh, short communication, just giving my special thank to today's manufacturer that allow to live, nevertheless, the, the impact of COVID in our environment. But uh, please uh, let me give just a special thank to Francesco and Antonio, in particular Francesco, which is a good friend for me and is what I usually call H and Y because he's a, a huge and a young research and friend. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Thanks a lot, Luigi. Thanks again, Luigi, for introducing item and for your very nice words. Uh, so uh, let me give you some additional information before closing this opening ceremony. Uh, as Dr. Padovano was mentioning before, we will have four keynote speakers, two plenary talks today, starting at 11 a.m. Central, Central European time. We will have Marcos Brumeyer from uh, Vosterpine Steel Division, and we will have Wei Ming Shen, uh, that is professor at Wazong University of Science and Technology. While tomorrow we will have two additional talks, tomorrow morning start at, starting at 9 a.m. Central European time, we, we will have Professor Giancarlo Fortino from University of Calabria and Professor Alois Zoitl from Johannes Kepler University. So remember uh, to join the plenary talk session both today and, uh, and tomorrow. Uh, how to join the conference uh, session? It's pretty easy. You have, been in, you have been invited as member of the ISM team on Microsoft Teams where you will find four different rooms. Rooms, room, room one, room two, room three, and room four. And within each room, you will find all the sessions already scheduled. Vice versa, if you like, you can join the session even from the program on the website, from the program at glance on the website, or from the full program. Uh, in correspondence of each session, you will find the button join the room with the direct link to the session on Microsoft Teams. So uh, um, joining the session is pretty is pretty easy. Obviously, when you are inside the room, you can use the chat and you can easily communicate with the other with the other people. In terms of interaction, and this is pretty important because uh, one of the things that we usually do in real conference, in physical conference, is that we try to interact with the, all the other attendees coming from different countries. So we have created within the ISM teams three different interaction rooms. Uh, you, If you would like to interact with other people, you have just to go there and you can create conversation of general interest where all the people can send their messages or vice versa, you can start instant meeting with other participants and discuss about research opportunities and other, and other aspects related to the, to the conference. As you know, 
we do also have business to be B2B meeting, business to business meetings that will start tomorrow. We do have already 95 scheduled B2B meetings from 17 countries. Uh, how it works is pretty simple. Also in this case, uh, these meetings are 20 minute face to face talks uh, where you can meet enterprises, university, cluster organization. You can talk about prospective research project, new research activities, finding new commercial opportunity or research partner and so on. You can still register. The registration is still open until today at noon. So you still have one hour and a half if you would like to register you just go on the on the website you can select uh, those uh, companies or universities that are still available for the meeting and you can set up your meeting very very easily so we the participation the participation to the b2b b2b meetings is free of charge so please feel free to uh, to join. Obviously, we take also this opportunity to thank all the scientific partners that, uh, that have supported the organization of ISM and the industrial partners, Vostelpine, Miba, Caltech, Uno, HTS, Econet, as well as all the other associations that uh, have provided the patronage to the organization of the conference. And I take this opportunity again to invite people to join our team and to take an active role in the organization of the conference. We are totally open to, uh, you know, to host new track, new special session, and invite you to be part of the International Program Committee or to serve as reviewer. Uh, finally, uh, as Professor Affenzeller and the other colleagues were mentioning, next year we will try to hold the, the conference in, uh, in presence. So ISM 2021 will be held in, uh, in Austria uh, at, at Agenberg campus in the software park. Uh, so it is a fantastic areas very close to Linz. Uh, there are a lot of nice activities and social activities that we can organize. So we strongly invite you, invite you to check the website uh, as reported in this slide and to join the uh, also the next year edition of ISM. Uh, so again, thank you for joining this uh, opening ceremony. Uh, it, we have now a virtual coffee break uh, and we will start again at 11 a.m. Central European time with the plenary talks. So please be on time in the session for the plenary talks. Thanks a lot and again welcome to the International Conference on Industry 4.0 and Smart Manufacturing.